Hey, what's going on, guys? Shalom, shalom, back and back. So I've been missing for a while. Been having a lot, you know, been dealing with a few things. But um, nonetheless, um, we still, we still back on live in effect, you know, and um, pretty much another day in the office of um, pretty much speaking a word, <coughs> trying to um, bring light to my people. So, you know, we all are going through things and, you know, we don't know how we got into it. We don't know why we're going through certain things. So, in this end times, we really want to pay attention to what's going on in our life. We try to find the root cause of why we're going through, and why we're going, and why we're going through these things. And um, pretty much, if you read these scriptures in the Bible, of course, they once were revelations. So of course, there's a lot of revelations being fulfilled in these um, in these end times, and we had to be, you know, spiritually conscious to catch on to which um, prophecy are being fulfilled. You don't want to get caught off guard because you know if you do, it can really, you know, it can bounce, it can backfire. So, um, what about now? If you see what's everything going on, um, pretty much a bunch of just the dysfunction, everything unraveling before, you know, people's eyes all over the world. You know, yeah, people that are being, you know, pretty much um killed in other countries for you know pretty much believing in Christ. And there's no beating up around the bush for it. And um, you know. I mean, we're not going to keep a closed mouth about it. You know, the Lord doesn't want us to have a closed mouth about it either, you know. You know, yeah, people that are still caught up in the world, they're pretty much not worried about the body of Christ right now. But right now, the body of Christ is really under heavy fire right now, if you ask me. And a lot of people are suffering right now. And a lot of people are being, you know, the Lord is separating the wheat from the tars in these times. And sadly, he, he, the, the Lord is separating, separating us from those that we thought, you know, were pretty much, you know, yeah, um, God's children. It could be people you know personally. People that's blood. It could be people that you knew all your life. And it, it, it's in the Bible. The Lord already said, you know, as these people love a wax cold. So, you know, he's going to separate us from those people who are waxing cold. And even the wicked are the wicked as well. You know, they're only going to wax worse. You know, we're in a time where people are haters of those who are righteous, truth breakers, false swears. Um, worshipers of their own hands, you know, unbelievers, um, believers, saying they believe in God, you know, saying I believe in God, but denying the power thereof. So, you know, you have a lot of people that's operating in a, um, in a spirit of religiousness, and even the church is being revealed that the church is under, you know, pretty much like the Jezebelic spirit. Like I said, you know, the Jezebelic spirit can reach any and every place. It doesn't know, it doesn't matter where it is. The church is not off limits. So I'm even saying, you know, paranormal activity in, in, even in the church. You know, you have people that are pretty much on the summit to, you know, stake out believers in the body of Christ. And um, pretty much I mean, it's going to be harder and harder to get the, the essence of the word of God. Um, it's going to pretty much be harder and get harder and harder, you know. The Lord is in the balance of people who go to it from the earth to either be a famine, not a famine of food, but a famine of, you know, hearing the word of God. You know, so that's why the Lord said, get it now, absorb it now, while you can still read Bibles, while you can still, you know, go to Bible study church, because, you know, right now, the enemy is pretty much trying to ex um, exclude, you know, God all all together, and um, it's all over the place, you know, down to the cartoons, you know, it doesn't be glorified at all, even down to the cartoons for the children, it's not godly, so, you know. He's after this, the youth. He's after this, this generation, and even the ones after us. So we have to, we have to, um, we have to stand up for this generation that is after us because you know they're gonna be pretty much lost and set up to be destroyed if we don't, you know, stand up. And of course, the Lord is gonna, He's gonna have a select few. It already, it already says in um, Revelation that He will have a select few, and the Lord will not come until you know pretty much um, the earth is right. But, you know, the Lord does not want to take too long because he knows if we take too long, you know, it'll be none of us because, you know, wickedness is pretty much trying to bust out as much as possible. And if he doesn't come for the elect's sake, which he said, you know, we're, we won't be none. So we have to, you know, um, we have to take notice. We have to take take heed to what the Lord wants us to do, whether it's spreading the word of God, forgiving people, letting go, and even stepping up for your family. Because, you know, the devil's, he, yes, he's coming down with great wrath. Let he's trying to destroy everyone 
literally, even down to sickness. If you can take your own sickness, you do it. You know, you see that going on right now, and I'm I've been bad on sickness. So you know, um, but the Lord has been quickening me. Some nights are worse than others. Some nights I feel like I'm, you know, I'm pretty much don't have no more strength. But um, the strength just comes out of nowhere, man. Um, the Lord already said Isaiah 41. Um, Isaiah 40, I believe, um, that those that wait upon the Lord shall be in their strength. That it shall man up with wings like an eagle. So you got to wait upon the Lord. Those, those that wait upon the Lord will man up with wings like an eagle. And um, he already said, even a young will faint. They will utterly faint. Those who, you know, rely on their strength. The Lord already said that by no, by strength no man shall prevail. But that's like, you know, no, by no physical strength shall anyone on this earth prevail for the things to come. What are the things that we had to endure? You know, the Lord didn't endure on his own strength. He endured by the spirit of the living God, by the by his Father. And he wants us to do, do the same thing. And um, we really had to be careful on who we listen to in these last days. Because, you know, the enemy is trying to pass out the mark as much as possible in different many ways, in very slick ways. So, um, yeah. Well, other than that, today we're going to be going against the spirit of Haman. The spirit of Haman and the spirit of Balaam. Now we all know about the spirit of Haman if you read the book of Esther. That's the, of course we can read the um, summary of Esther. And it says the God's hands of providence and protection on behalf of his people is evident through the book of Esther. It says though his name does not appear once, Haman's plot brings grave danger to the Jews. It is counted by the carriage of beautiful Esther, the counsel of a wise um, cousin, Mordecai. Um, resulting in a great deliverance. The Feast of Purim becomes an annual reminder of God's faithfulness on behalf of his people. So, excuse me, you know, Haman and, um, Haman and his sons and all that they were, they were with him, they um, they came up with a, with a month called the month of Adar. And they before they came up with this month of Adar, they pretty much were trying to figure out a date on where they were trying to execute and exterminate the Jews. So, um, these are the type of things that, you know, pretty much witches and witches do. They operate on times and dates, you know, they're very um, strategic on things when they carry attacks out against a person or against, you know, Jews, against the people of God. And, um, you know, they, they first they started in April, and they, they went all the way down to March and called it the month of a dog. And they even try to, you know, pretty much execute even down all the way down to the 12th month. And the Lord frustrated it. And um, he pretty much Hammond pays a lot of a lump sum of money to to these um, you know, these witches and witches to try to exterminate um the Jews and ask them. And it all it all still boiled down when um pretty much Mordecai refused to say good morning to him because you know, um Hammond was pretty much he had influence and it was over Mordecai, but the Lord gave Mordecai as the favor in the sight of the king. So Haman thought he was gonna have favor over them. So let's read the book of um so that's just let's, before we go there the spirit of Haman, that's what we're dealing with in the land. And um in the scriptures they're enemies of God. And one major characteristic of these two enemies is that they, they carried out their activities in broad daylight. So these spirits are pretty much flaunting themselves against you in public, broad daylight. Said so you need this prayer program where you face attacks for any enemies who fight you openly. So when you see you know, a spiritual attack on you and it's being done to you out and open. You had to really take it serious. Because if they're not ashamed that out and open, that means, you know, they're pretty much doing the most in the, in the dark as well. Um, says Haman and Balaam represent principal agents for the kingdom of darkness. When the spirit of Haman is at work, enemies will try to destroy you completely. So we don't want to play with this, this spirit at all. Um, in Esther 3 6. He thought to scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for they had showed on the people of Mordecai. Wherefore, Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout all the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, even the people of Mordecai. So let's read the book of Esther 3. And it's from chapter 6, in the verse 6. And it says this, right? So, and it says Mordecai saves the king's life. Now, so this stuff for one. So after these things, the king Ahasuerus promoted him and the son of Hamadatha, the Agagite, and, and advanced him, and set his seat above all the princesses that were with him, and all the king's servants that were in the king's gate bowed and reverenced him. 
but the king had so commanded concerning but Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence. So you know that's just like you know the king honoring you, and you expect everyone in the banquet to pretty much bow down to you, but you see this one person not bowing down to you. Now you have a person, you have people that are, you know they're really pretty much want to kill you if you don't say good morning. We have people that walk around this with that type of experience, but they really want to kill you because you don't acknowledge them. So, but Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence. Did the king's servant, which were in the king's gate, said it to Mordecai, Why transgressest thou the king's commandment? So he's asking, Why did you transgress against the king's commandment to bow, not to not bow down? So that came to pass when they spake daily unto him, he hearkened not unto them. So, you know, the, the Mordecai, he was like, I'm not bowing down to another man. You know, he was kind of you know, I'm only bowing down to the Lord God Almighty. I'm not bowing down to another man. That's how Mordecai, Mordecai was carrying it. So they now came to pass when they speak daily unto him, he hearkened unto them that to Mordecai to see whether Mordecai's matter would stand. For he had told them that he was a Jew. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, and then was Haman full of wrath. So not only did he want to destroy Mordecai, but he wanted to destroy all the people that were like Mordecai and all those that were related to him. He said that then was Haman full of wrath, and he saw to scorn their hands on Mordecai alone, for they had shewed him the people of Mordecai. And wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout all throughout the whole kingdom of Azraeus. So he wanted to exterminate the existence. So it said, even the people of Mordecai, they the first among that is the month Nisan, they the twelfth year of King Ahasuerus, that he cast per that is not before him from day to day, from month to month, so you know, they cast not, you know, they were um, enforcing witchcraft against Mordecai and the Jews. So they said he cast lot before him from day to day and from month to month to the twelfth month, that is the month of Adar. It says, and Haman said it to the king, Ezra, there's a certain people scattered. So he's, this is what Haman is explaining to the king. He's trying, he wants to get, to get them to be destroyed. Now it says, as Haman said unto the king, Ezra, there's a certain people scattered abroad. They disperse some other people in all the provinces of the kingdom. And their laws are diverse from all people who need to keep the, the king's law. Therefore, it is not for the king's prophet to suffer them. So he's saying he's trying to pretty much get the king to destroy him the Jews because they're not that different from them so you know one thing one thing that the enemy tried to do the devil right was he, um, he just, you know um, he tried to separate the scatter means to be separate so of course um, that's power in numbers so that's why he said to see they're scattered abroad so um, one preacher he explained it as if you know it's just like lions that are going after their prey and they know that you know, um, the sheep will scatter, they will separate themselves, and that's how they gain weakness is separating themselves. So, so neither they kept the laws, therefore, it's not for the king's prophet to suffer them. If it please the king, let it be written that they may be destroyed. And I will to pay ten thousands of talents of silver to the hands of those that they have the charge of the business to bring it into the king's treasuries. But the king took his ring from his hand and gave it unto him. And it said, the son of Hamadatha, the ugly guy, the Jew's enemy. So the enemy that was Hamadatha against the Jews. So, and the king said unto the Haman, said, said, the silver is given to thee. So, you know, he's paying pretty much people on altars, evil altars, to exterminate and destroy um, the Jews. So, you know, that's pretty much giving people money to, you know, and, uh, other enchantments and incantations on people, you know, whether it be a picture, whether it be items. So this is what he was doing to Mordecai and all the Jews to destroy them. So it says this, and then where the king's scribes called on the thirteenth day of the first month, and it was written according to all that Haman had commanded unto the king's lieutenants. So he even he even spread his decree amongst the lieutenants, the lieutenants, the governors that were over every governor, that were over every province, and to the rulers of every people of every province. It says. Um, according to the writing of um, to every people that, that that says to every people after their language in the name of King Ahasuerus was it written and it says and seal with the king's ring and the letters were sent by post so they did it overnight into all the king's promises so they, they pretty much did it in secret to try to destroy all the Jews to destroy and to kill and to cause to perish all the Jews both young and old and little and women in one day, even upon the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, which is the month of Adar, so they came on this month, 
you know, to try to keep it as a holiday. But the Lord calls it the family. He said, to take it as spoil of them for a prey. The copy of the writing for a commander to be human and every promise was published unto all people that it should be ready against that day. So the Jews were, you know, and, you know, they were they were gearing up. They were prepared against that day. It said, um, the post went out and being hastened by the king's commandment and the decree was given in Shushan in the palace. So a decree with his spirit is, you know, we're operating through people and they're decreeing. Pretty much that's what is going on. If the devil wants to show you a decree against you. So decree is a law and it could be a spiritual law. If you don't um revoke it, if you don't counteract and overturn it, it will destroy you. And again, decree against your freedom, your health, your finances, your family, or to be destroyed. You can decree against your um, breakthroughs, your deliverance, your um um your miracles. You can decree against your um you know your uh let me see. Your business, your family, your marriage. They can decree saying that you will never get married. They can, um, a wicked spit of hand, make you operate through people. They can decree and declare that you will never be successful. So, what do you decree and Anyone that said we will not be successful, it should be their portion. Let them make some energies. What do you decree and declare? Anyone said we will die from certain disease and our lovers. What do you decree and declare? That should be their portion. It should be the total opposite. It should backfire. Let them make some energies. What do you decree and declare? That anyone that is decreeing against our freedom, saying we will be nothing but you know a prisoner in his life we decree and declare it is revoked we revoke it by the blood of jesus christ we will return it back to the center that the mighty name of jesus so they could pretty much decree against anything if you don't count that it will it will prevail so it says this and the post went up being hasty in the king's commandment and the decree was given to shushan the palace and the king and the hammer sat down to drink but the city shushan was perplexed and now Let's go to the book of Esther. Let's go to one for one. It said, with Mordecai proceed all that was done. Mordecai rent his clothes. You mean know, humility. You know, and crying, like crying. Mordecai rent his clothes and put on sackcloth and ashes and went out into the midst of the city and cried with a loud little bit of cry. And came even before the king's gate, for none might enter into the king's gate clothed with sackcloth. And then every promise whatsoever the king's commandment and his decree came but there was a great mourning among the jews and fasting and we so they fasted so certain prayers do not be answered until we um you know fast and pray so the um, it says what well, it said they were weeping and wailing and many laid in sackcloth ashes so esther's maids and her chamberlains came and told it told her but it was a queen exceeding grieved she sent raiment to clothe mordecai Oh, you know, to pretty much, you know, ease his mind and bring him comfort. It said, um, and to take away his sackcloth from him, but he was seated not in grief. It said, um, then call Esther for her top, one of the king's Jebedans, whom he had appointed to attend upon her, and, he, and gave him a commandment to Mordecai to know. It says, to know what it was and why it was. So her top went forth to Mordecai into the street of the city, which was before the king's gate. And Mordecai told her of all that had um, happened unto him, and that the sum of the money that Haman had promised to pay to the king shredded for the Jews to destroy them. So he's pretty much having hope in his money that he's um, paying to, to destroy, um, you know, the Jews. So if you're going through any spiritual attacks, satanic attacks, you know, you pretty much had a warfare against any, any. It could be people that you personally. It could be a coworker. It could be an unfriendly friend. It could be a neighbor. Could be ages in the darkness, could be random people. Um, so I talk, what's this? Let's see, let me see, let me see. So the um so also he gave them the copy of the writing of the decree that it was given to Shushan to destroy them, to Shu and to us to change it as he should go into the king to make supplication to him. So you know, it was a law of written that if anyone was to, you know, uh, take themselves into the king, without being called, they would be, you know, killed. But um, Esther being grieved, she pretty much made a sacrifice. Anyway, Mordecai said, if you don't, you die. But if you go, you know, it's better to go and to, you know, plead, plead against him. So, you know, it's almost like a loose loose situation. She took a chance. They don't the reason why she went on. It prevailed because, you know, the king had a soft spot for her. She was pretty. So the Lord worked it out in her favor and on behalf of the Jews. And also he gave me a copy of the writing and the decree that was that was given us you shall to show them to show unto us and declare unto her um 
giving her shoes unto the shoot unto shoot unto us and to declare unto her and to charge her that she should go into, into the king to make supplication unto him and to make requests unto him to make requests before him for people and Hatat came and told us the word again us the spirit of Hatat and gave him commandment unto Rodeca or the king's servants and people or the king's provinces you know that whatsoever was the man or woman shall come unto the king right here to the inner court who is not called there is one law of his to be put to death to accept such to whom the king shall hold out the golden scepter that he may live but I have not been called to come into the, into the king these 30 days but he told Mordecai, to Mordecai Esther to Esther's words but then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther think not with thy self that thou should escape in the king's house so he's saying you know you're not going to escape even if, if you don't do it if you don't follow through you're still not going to escape so he's saying <clears throat> Think not with thyself that thou should escape in the king's house more than all the Jews. For they all together holdest thy peace at this time. So it said, um, then shall they enlarge and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. So Mordecai said, if you keep your mouth closed about this, you know, it'll be deliverance elsewhere, except and not for us. <coughs> so he's saying, speak up. And I'm going to continue. It says, for if thou art together hold us up on thy peace at this time, then shall thou enlarge it, and the deliverance arise of the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. Who knoweth whether thou art come to, to the kingdom for such a time as this? And we're going to skip to the book of Esther um, 9. But if I, let's go to Esther 7. So this is how it backfired. And if you, and even if you finish the whole book, the Jew, um, Mordecai's sons, he got his ten sons. Like I said, um, Esther found favor in the sight of the king. She asked him, you know, if if she gonna make a decree to hang, to hang, um, Haman's ten sons, and it 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 worked. So let's go to say that now. Let's go to the says. So the king of Haman came to the bank with Esther, the queen, and the king said again unto Esther on the second day at the banquet of wine, what is our petition, Queen Esther, that it should be granted thee? And what is our request? That it shall be performed, even to the half of the kingdom. The answer the queen answered, said, If I have found favor in thy sight, O king, but if it please the king, then my life be given to me at my petition. And my people that are in my request, for we are sold by my people to be destroyed, to be slain, and to perish. But if we had been sold for bondmen and bondmen, I had held my tongue. So she's saying, if I, if I keep my mouth closed, you know, we will be destroyed. So when you know you're going through a spiritual warfare, you know the enemy. Is using people to decree and declare against you and make pronouncements against you. You remember, our ancestry, ancestry are already decreeing against us because those demons within our blood are, are already against us. So we already know that um, that's why Jesus Christ shed his blood for all of us. You know, his blood that was shed on Calvary blots out the, like the handwriting and the ordinances which were, con were written against us, which were contrary to us. So he nailed it on the cross. And, um,. <clears throat> Nailed on the cross and triumphed over them and shoot them out and shoot them out and open in public. So he made a public show. So he embarrassed the powers. And, uh, <clears throat> so it says this: I had held my tongue, although the enemy could not kill the king's damage. Then the king and his arrest answered, said to the queen, "Who was he?" So the king is saying, "Who was this, this dork?" And they said, "Durst." They said, "Who was this that Durst that pursued in his heart to do to exterminate the Jews?" Cause, you know he had a soft spot for Esther, so he she like I said she had Esther, she had favor because of her, um, she was pretty, and Esther said that ever adversary and the enemies is wicked Haman, and that Haman was afraid before the king and the queen, that the king arising from banquet of wine and in wrath, went into the palace garden and Haman stood up to make a request for his life, so now the Lord calls a divine turnaround, so we clean declare divine turnaround of every demonic imagination against us, our families, we declare the clamor. Any evil imaginations against us by any wicked witch or was any ages of darkness that it causes pain, um sorrow or tears, we declare the clamor. it shall be verse of the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And it says this. It says that and the king arises for the banquet of wine and his wrath went to the pace in the palace garden. And Haman stood up to make a request for his life to answer the queen, for he saw that there was evil determined against him by the king. That the king returned out of the palace, got into the place of the banquet of wine, and Haman was falling upon the bed, wearing Esther. So he still was trying to 
get, you know, some type of leeway. He says, the hammer was falling up on the bed where Esther was. Then said the king, will he, will he force the queen also before me in the house? As the word went out, out of the king's mouth, but they covered him his face in Habana. One, that, one of the chamberlains said before the king, Behold, also the gallows for the cubits, ah, which Haman had made for Mordecai, who had spoken good for the king. So Mordecai spoke good for the king. So the king took it into consideration. And plus, Esther and Mordecai were a lady, so they found favor. Um, so we declare the claim, favor in the sight of kings. No do mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And it says, then the king says, so then the king, so it said, and the king said, hang him therein. So they hanged him in with the ghettos that he had prepared for Mordecai. But it was the king's wrath pacified. So there was a divine to turn around. We declare the divine to turn around. We declare the clear. Every wicked device against us, our life, our freedom, our health, our finance, our marriage, our family. We decree back to symbol. Back to symbol. For the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So uh, let's go to the book of Nabalam. It should be number 22. Verse 12 said, And God said, uh, said unto Nabalam, And thou should not go with them. And thou should not curse the people, for they are blessed. Remember, another one, another case where um, Balaam tried to go on evil altars and sacrifice unto, you know, sacrifice goats, chickens to, 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 to curse. Now, the spirit of Balaam operates through weapons of demonic manipulations. He tried to curse the people of God whom God had blessed. So that's why he said, that's not good with the that's not curse people for they are blessed. So we declare that we are blessed, our family is blessed. We declare that we cannot be cursed. In the mighty name of Jesus. So um, when you pray this, pray this aggressively, because these spirits are evil, and they um they had to die. There's no other way. All right. So um, ouch. And one more scripture. If you read Numbers 23, this confession scripture. So I shall curse whom God have not cursed, or how shall I defy whom the Lord have not defied? The Lord says. So the Lord said, how can I defile my children whom I have not cursed? I said, um, now if you read Ezekiel 11, 11. So now witches and wizards can even use witchcraft pots to, um, you know, curse a witchcraft pot. It's called a country. So I'm um, reading, it starts Ezekiel 11, 11. So this city should not be a country. Neither shall you be the flesh in the middle of the earth. So witches and wizards can actually cook your, um, your destiny in a the pot. They can cook your organs. They can cook your destiny. They can cook your joy, your peace. They can cook your families as well. But um, these spirits, these witches, was they operate through the third house of the water. They use the evil substance. They put it together, and they're able to see into the water and to monitor you. So like I said, um, a witchcraft pot, a conjure can pretty much, you know, um, control the whole nation, the whole city, the whole state. And um, this pretty much is very one of the most dangerous witchcraft weapons that is um, used against mankind. So um, he said, um, so let's pray. And before we even pray, let's just um, let's pray to the Lord. Give thanks, Lord God. We thank you. We bless you. We give you all the honor, all the glory. We thank you for um, waking us up, allow us to see another day. Thank you for allowing us to see Tuesday. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. We bless you. We honor be that magnified, be that glorified. You're the beginning and the end, and the Alpha and Omega. In the mighty name of Jesus, we honor you. We bless you. Give God the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take over this, take over this prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we soak this in the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. And we even soak our family in the blood of Jesus as well. For the top of our head to the soles of our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we soak our um, cars, our clothes, our possessions, our lumbers. We, we declare the, the mark of Jesus Christ be seen on our foreheads. In the name of Jesus Christ. Although maybe a wall of fire as we do this prayer, we come against every demonic in the first. In Jesus' name, pray, man. So let's do it. Yeah, hallelujah. Amen. Now, what it say? I prophesy that a place of my birth will not become my country. Let them know my Jesus. So let's put my our family and lovers in there. We, I prophesy that the place of my birth and the place of my lovers' birth will not become a country. Let them know my Jesus. Let's say it in a little intensity. I prophesy. That my place of birth and my double and my family's place of birth shall not become a country. I don't mind my Jesus. I decree it shall not become a country. I don't mind my Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's do it and let's go to the next one. Amen. Then we're going to say, I prophesy 
that is city where I live, and where my numbers live, my family live, my destiny office, my friends, that decree will not be our country. Lord of mercy, no more Jesus. But it shall not be our country. Lord of mercy, no more Jesus. Like I said, in the name of Jesus, the witchcraft country can cook your organs. You know, you, they can shoot all sickness and disease all into your body without you being there. And then they can be in a whole different city, state, or country attacking you with um, the witchcraft pot. So this is a very serious matter. So then we're going to see every pot of darkness program against my life and the life of my lungs. Be destroyed by fire and the mighty name of Jesus. Every pot of darkness, power get against my life, power get against the life of my numbers, power get against my family. Be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Let's do it again. Every pot of darkness, power get against my life and the life of my family, my friends, my destiny. Be destroyed by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. You now we're going to say this. Every witchcraft pot using remote control against my health and the health of my family, my friends. I break it to pieces. So we actually had to break the, this pot to pieces. So let's do it. Every witchcraft pot using a remote control against my health, against the health of my family, my friends. I break you to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. I I break you to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. I break you to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Every witchcraft pot using remote control, witchcraft against my health, against the health of my family, my friends. I break you to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. I break you to pieces. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I don't mind of Jesus Christ. Amen. So now let's go to the next one. And we're going to say every every power, call them my name and call them my lover's name, my family names, and to any country. Fall down and die. I don't mind of Jesus. So let's do it. Every power, call them my name and the names of my family and the names of my lovers. Fall down and die. That name of Jesus. Fall down and die. That name of Jesus. Fall down and die. That name of Jesus. I don't mind of Jesus. Let's do it again. Every country, every power, call them my name into any country. Call them my lover's name, my family's name, my, uh, my destiny helpers, my friends, before any country. Fall down and die by fire. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die by fire. Let my name Jesus. Fall down and die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So now let's go to the next one. In the name of Jesus. Then we're going to sing. Every country making noise against me. And against my lovers, my family, and the mourners of my life. Melt by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. So let's do it. Every country making noise against me, against my family, against my friends, against my destiny office. I melt you by fire in the name of Jesus. I melt you by fire in the name of Jesus. I melt you by fire in the name of Jesus. Let the mighty name of Jesus. Let's do it again. Every country making noise against me. Yes, my friend, my friends, my destiny help us. I melt you by the presence of God. I melt you by the presence of God. I melt you by fire. Catch fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So now let's go to the next one. Then we're going to see every power. Cooking my progress. Cooking the progress of my lovers, my family, my friends. In the evil pot. Receive fire of judgment. Let the mighty name of Jesus. So let's do it. Hold on a second, guys. All right, let's do this. Now let's continue. Then we're going to sing. Every power, cooking my progress, the progress of my lovers in any evil pot, receive fire of judgment. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the fire of judgment. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the fire of judgment. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Let's do it again. Every power. Cooking the progress of me, my friend, and my friends. We receive a fire judgment. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Receive a fire judgment. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Receive a fire judgment. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let's go to the next one. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
They were gonna say every centenic program emanating, emanating means like repeating, it's like an evil occurrence. So these witch kept can pr pretty much reiterate curses if you don't break them. So we're gonna say every centenic um, program emanating from the culture of darkness against me, and my family, my friend. Be reversed by the blood of Jesus. Let's do it. Every centenic program. Emanated for the country of darkness against me and my family, my friends, and my destinies. Be reversed by the blood of Jesus. Be reversed by the blood of Jesus. Be reversed by the blood of Jesus. Be reversed. Be reversed. Be reversed by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let the Almighty know Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the next one. In Jesus' name. Never do the same. I prophesy that the counsel of the wicked against my life and the life of my lovers in the city shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. Let the Almighty know Jesus Christ. I prophesy that the, the counsel of the wicked against my life and against the life of my family, my friends, and my destinies. I decree your, your wickedness shall not, it shall never come to pass, neither shall it stand. Let the Almighty know Jesus. I decree you shall pass. Let the Almighty know Jesus. Let's do it again. Um. I'm saying, I prophesy that the council will get against my life, or the life of my family, my friends, my dad's helpers. I decree and declare, you, um, where is my, oh yeah, you shall not stand, neither shall you cut a pass. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus, I decree you shall not stand, neither shall you cut a pass. I decree you shall pass. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that we're going to show pass. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that show pass. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And it's a lot of things, it's a lot of going on around me. You know, I'm pretty much, the enemy's pretty much trying to distract me. Got a lot of people walking around me. Um, so, but it's okay. You can watch his, 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 his plan fail and be destroyed. So that's all that matters. And one thing, when you're going through spiritual warfare, the enemy's going to pretty much try to do all he can in distraction. Remember, he doesn't want you to pray. He doesn't want you to stand in prayer. He doesn't want you to focus. So one thing we want to do is focus on the Lord. No matter what is going on in these times. So let's go to the next one. We're going to say any evil fire boiling any sentinel program in my life and my family. Be quenched. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Let's do it. Any evil fire boiling any sentinel programs in my life and the life of my family, my friends, it doesn't. Be quenched by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Be quenched by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Any evil fire boiling any sentinel program in my life and life of my family, my friends, my dad. Be quenched by the fire of the ghost. Be quenched by the fire of the ghost. Be quenched by the fire of the ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let the Almighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. So now let's go to the next. Now we're going to say every counsel of God for my life. Um, I command you to begin to prosper. Let the Almighty name of Jesus. Let's do it. Every counsel of God over my life and the life of my family. I command you to begin to prosper. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. I command you in the name of Jesus, begin to prosper. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. So the Lord say, we, just, we speak things, we speak on things that, um, as if they were. We speak on things that were not as, as if they were. So then we have faith that whatever we speak, it shall come to pass. So let's do it again. I be counsel for the God of my life and the life of my family. I command you to prosper. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Prosper. I command you to prosper by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. So let's go to the next one. And we're going to see every power cook on my flesh, or the, the flesh and the health of me, and my domains in any country. Receive fire in the name of Jesus. So let's do it. So we're attacking witches that are using these pots against us. So let's do it. Every evil pot cooking me and my domains flesh and health in any evil country. I fire you. I fire you, name of Jesus. I fire you, in the mighty name of Jesus. I fire you, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil pot cooking our flesh at the health in any country receive fire, the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. So now we're going to go to the next one. Now we're gonna go, we're gonna say this. We're gonna say every counsel of God arms. Um, so I'm gonna say um every evil bird of satanic program emanating from any country in the darkness fall and die. So if you you know pretty much see a um evil bird, a raven, a crow, um a evil um a vulture, this is a satanic attack. Those represent death, bad news and sickness and illness. 
So um, let's do it. Let's do it. Then we're going to sing. Every, every evil bird of synthetic program emanating from any conjuring or darkness against me and my loved ones. For then and die by fire. Oh, there might you know my Jesus. Every evil bird of synthetic program emanating from any conjuring or darkness against me, my family, my loved ones, and death helps. For then and die. For then and die. For then and die. For then and die. 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 Oh, there might you know my Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You had to do this intensely. Cause this is nothing. It's not a light thing. You're dealing with the devil. It is agents. And they're, they're only here to steal, kill, and destroy. So we have no other option but to, you know, put our all, all of our aggression in it and nothing else. So, um, it is 2-12. It's never going to say every pot cooking my affairs and affairs of my loves. Don't know about big you. I don't know about Jesus. It's the word. Every pot cooking my affairs and affairs of my loves and family. Don't know about big you by the blood of Jesus. Don't know about big you by the blood of Jesus. I don't know the name of Jesus. Every pot cooking my affairs and affairs of my loves, my family, my friends, that doesn't help us. I send a rebuke of the Lord. I don't mind the name of Jesus. I send a rebuke of the Lord. I don't mind the name of Jesus. I deploy the rebuke of the Lord. I don't mind the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So now this is very important right here. Now we're going to say I remove the spell of any witchcraft power over my neck, over the neck of my family, my friends, my dozen homes. So we're standing in the gap because we're praying for people that are, um, you know, that we love, friends, family. Now, the thing is, the enemy could be using any of our family members, our lovers, our family, and friends, but that he will he will handle on um, regardless. So um, we're going to say this. I will move! But it's spread up any bush trap over my neck, over my funny, my friends, and my loves, my dead numbers. I remove it by fire. I don't mind you my Jesus. And matter of fact, we can say we break every spell for the bush trap out over my neck and over my lungs. So let's do it by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I break the spell of every bush trap out over my life, over the life of my family, my friends, my dead numbers. And dead image by the power of the blood of Jesus. I break it. 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 I beg in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we're going to say, um, then we're going to say, I break every which can pot over my life. Let's do it. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the faith of Jesus Christ. By the power of prayer. I beg every which can pot over my life for my family, my friends, my destiny of us. In the mighty name of Jesus. I beg in the name of Jesus. Even say church family. Lord, the mighty name of Jesus. I break every witch trap pot over my life, over my church family, my friends, my family, my lovers, and that's not. I beg it by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Then we're going to say, um, we're going to say, Lord, that every evil pot hunt, hunt is on us. So we're going to, the Lord's going to, you know, cause the, the pot to backfire. On whatever this country is, let's go to the country. That's where they gather. It can be more than one people, a group of people um, attacking our family, our church, the nation. So let's do it. Father, in the name of Jesus, in your most holy anger, in your Holy Ghost fire, Lord God, every every owner of evil pots, oh Lord, that that pot hurt them in the name of Jesus Christ. That that pot begin to hurt the owner in the name of Jesus. That that pot begin to hurt the owner. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my Father, my Lord, let every evil pot begin to hurt the owner. In the mighty name of Jesus, let that pot begin to hurt the owner. In the mighty name of Jesus, let that I decree that pot shall begin to hurt the owner. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now let's do this prayer, and I'm going to say, every evil conjuring pot be judged for the heavens. In the mighty name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Let's do it. Every evil conjuring or pot will get against me. My lovers, my health, our finance, our destiny, our soul, our spirit. Ah, I believe the judgment of the helpless against them. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. I believe the judgment of God upon the helpless. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. I believe the judgment of God upon the help from the helpless. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Let's do it again. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every evil conjuring or pot will get against me and all those that are with me. Oh, God of us, let us see the judgment of God, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let us see the judgment of God. Let us see the Judgment of God, the judgment, the judgment of God, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 
Now, I'm um, gonna cut this one because we got one minute left. We're just gonna continue. Now, we're gonna sing. Um, I prophesy that no evil country will cook up my life and the life of my love. Who the mighty name of Jesus? We decree and declare and prophesy. No cancel over here. Over here. So, cook up my life. Live the life of my daughters. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy. No witchcraft coming. No country, no pot. So, cook up my life. I do my name of Jesus. I declare show down. Prosper. I do my name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And um, that's all I got for you guys. Do this as you can do this. Every council of witchcraft. We're going to um, say every agreement with Satan over my life. I can't shoot now. Blood of blood of Jesus. So, God bless you guys. I love y'all. Peace and blessings. See you next time.